Hey everybody, and welcome to our Facebook Live. Uh, my, I'm John, and hopefully you know that because you're here visiting us. We really appreciate your uh, coming and a uh, little bit, uh, I guess, bewildered right now because I didn't know I had things set up properly. But hey everyone, I can see we've got people from all over the place, uh, from Florida, from New Zealand, from Michigan, from Ontario, Canada, happy Thanksgiving from, uh, I guess, uh, actually another person from Ontario, from Virginia. So we got people from everywhere, and I am so glad that you're all here. Uh, my son, Jesse, is actually in the house helping, and this is kind of a, a special uh, event because Jesse doesn't normally assist us with this. So, Jesse, you want to say hi? You're live. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. So if there's any questions, Jesse's here, and he's going to be answering them. Uh, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, we're glad that you're with us, and uh, please subscribe and give us a, a like, and on Facebook, we appreciate you guys joining us as well. And if you're catching us on the replay, this is going to be lots of fun because we are going to meet some new friends. And if you've been, I guess, to our parties earlier in the year, we did actually have three different parties. And at the parties, we actually had three gnomes that we introduced. And uh, our gnomes were actually a St. Patrick's Day gnome, a Valentine gnome, and an Easter gnome. And we do have some new additions to the family, which we're really, really excited about. And I wanted to, uh, to show you guys all of the new gnomes that we actually have uh, available right now. So it's going to be really cool, and I'm kind of excited to show you these guys. So I'm going to flip over. Just so you know, we do have, uh, of course, a Halloween gnome, which is coming up very, very soon. We have a Christmas gnome. We have a baker gnome. We have a Viking gnome, and we have a steampunk gnome. So there's eight gnomes in the family. And you, I guess somebody on Facebook and somebody on YouTube will get a chance to win the entire gnome family. And don't type in anything yet, but when I tell you to, and we do our little contest for the winners, I'm going to ask which is your favorite gnome, and then, you know, type it in, and we're excited to see who has a favorite. And if you did actually attend any of the parties earlier this year, uh, give us on Facebook some hearts, some thumbs up. We had a great time. We didn't do a party for uh, Halloween like we did the previous year. Uh, but uh, we are planning something for Christmas, so you'll want to stay tuned for that as well. So another contest is going to be coming soon. So I'm just going to switch over to the other camera, and I want to give you a close-up of all of the gnomes. And I'm kind of uh, excited about these because we did do them in four different sizes. So there is a smaller gnome, and then there is actually a, um, a medium, and then a large and an extra large gnome. So they do come in uh, four different sizes. I'm going to switch over to this camera right over here, and there you can see the sew outs of our gnomes from the Christmas party. So these, these are the three largest sizes of them. They're kind of cool because they have a lot of detail, a lot of blending, and a lot of shading in each one of them. And I'm going to start out with our baker gnome. So if you want to see the baker gnome, we are going to get him up here right now. So here is our baker gnome, and this is the smallest size. So just as a relation, there is the hand. But even with the smaller sizes, we try to get in as much detail as we possibly can within these designs. And they still are fairly soft. So that's something that I always strive to do is detailed designs that are not necessarily, you know, bulletproof. They, they obviously have stitches, but they shouldn't cause any havoc on your machines. And this is the large baker. So this is the largest of the sizes. And again, hopefully you can see that detail. But I try to get a lot of blending within the beard, within the hat, within the, you know, the, uh, I guess the cake, all of that good stuff. So he is actually Mr. Baker Gnome. And then we have the Viking Gnome. And I was just watching Vikings earlier, actually. Uh, but <laughs> I, I, how, how many times have I seen Vikings, Jesse? Too many. Too many. Okay. <laughs> uh, but here is the Viking gnome. And again, he is the smallest size. And then we get into the larger sizes. And I love the detail in the shield. The shield is my favorite because we used a motif. We have blending. And he actually just looks so super cool. So, and again, this is the largest. There are two smaller sizes within this detail. 
the smallest size, I had to digitize the design, you know, twice, once for the three larger pieces and then once for the smallest one. Here is the steampunk. So this is our steampunk gnome and he's pretty cool, lots of detail and he definitely has that steampunk flair. And if you look at the larger size, we got all the detail in there with running stitches around the gears. You can see the hat. It's really detailed, lots of blending and shading. And that goes right down into the beard and even right into his watch because, you know, steampunks, uh, it, it's kind of a cool thing. If you're part of that whole kind of, I guess, network of it, they have all kinds of conventions all over the country. I did attend one of them with friends so it's it's very different now here is our halloween gnome and this is the smallest one so there's lots of detail in there and with the halloween gnome i did that one in the larger size as well and here he is with all of his detail so he's pretty cool uh, gnomes have been super popular and i know we have had people from earlier in the year who have been asking over and over again when are the new gnomes coming because yeah, we, we did make a promise, I guess, at those that I was going to digitize other ones. And this one is our Christmas gnome. And just so you know, the candy cane is white on purpose. I, I felt that there was not enough space to get the stripes in there. So I just did a white candy cane. You can make it red if you want to, you know, so that's your choice. But with the larger size, I definitely fit in all of the details. So you have all the details of the different sizes. So those are all of our gnomes and you've now met the entire family. Any questions, Jess? Yeah, so we do actually have two questions coming in. One is uh, from Janet. She's asking if we have any female gnomes. Uh, female gnomes, actually there is a little hint. There is actually another kind of applique gnome design pack coming next week where there is one female gnome in there. there we I go. will put that on my list actually. That's a great uh, kind of comment because we do try to digitize or provide things that our customers want. So if you have any suggestions, and of course it depends on if we can get the artwork done, and there usually is, uh, how far ahead do I usually digitize things, Jesse? A uh, couple of weeks to months sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, well, at least. I was going to say, we had a meeting yesterday, Jesse and I, and we were talking about pack releases into close to the end of next year. Yeah. So yeah, so I do need a little bit of time, but if you want some lady gnomes, just let us know or any other ideas, we'll be happy to try to get those out to you as well. Other Perfect. Questions? Yeah, personally, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a lady gnome, so I'm actually kind of curious. Okay. Actually, yeah. The, uh, actually, I have the sample right over here for the applique lady gnome, but I don't think I can show it yet. Okay, really we'll build the suspense a little yes. for you. Okay, um, the other question was, do we have a chef gnome? Uh, a chef gnome, uh, actually not. So the baker is the closest that I have to a, a chef at this point. But again, I'll try to put that one on the list as well. Okay, so, perfect. Awesome. I think that's all the questions for now. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm going to switch back over to the other side. And this is where, oops, that actually faded to black. Let's go over here. There we go. Now I'm back. Okay, so uh, with regards to the gnomes, uh, if you are interested in the gnome family as i did mention at the other events the bonus gnomes that you got at the party uh, at the other events i did say that they would never be up for sale individually on our site and we are going to stick to that so you can't actually purchase those gnomes individually because all of our designs are available all 30 plus thousand of them are available on our site but those ones were special for the party but we do have something that we can do to kind of get around that. And that is we do have the gnome family as a bundle and we have put it at an incredibly discounted price. So you get all five gnomes, the new gnomes, you get the three bonus gnomes if you didn't get a chance to come to the party and it comes in all four sizes. So that's 32 designs and we are doing it for one week only for $12.95. So that is a ton of designs for that price point. So if you if you like the gnomes now, keep in mind if you are a member of our, uh, I guess, subscription, our, our Embroidery Legacy Club, that you can download all of the new gnomes. They will be there for you to download within your membership. So that's not an issue. It's just those three gnomes that we said were exclusive to the party 
and that wouldn't go individually on our site. Fair enough? Sounds good. Awesome, awesome. So here's the chance to win. So on Facebook and YouTube, tell us which is your favorite gnome. We want to hear which gnome you like the best. And then uh, Jesse and James are going to randomly pick uh, a person from each of the platforms, so Facebook and YouTube. And in a couple minutes, we are going to announce who the winners are. So you have to you have to monitor that. This is uh, M Jennifer. I was going to say mom. Jennifer is usually here helping me, but she's actually, I guess, uh, at the on the other side of the country. And Jesse came here to keep me company or keep me out of trouble. She needed a break, so I thought I'd. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine being with John for no, I'm just kidding. We all love him. <laughs> yeah. So tell tell them, Jesse, how awesome is it uh, working with your father full time? Oh, it is the best. Just <laughs> just a treat. It is good. It yeah. is good. Okay. So, anyways, uh, do you, do you guys have some winners yet, or should we? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. So, first off, we'll start with YouTube, and from YouTube, uh, we have Mickey uh, Watt. What you tell? I, I know I'm saying that wrong, so my apologies, Mickey. But uh, Mickey watched tell, um, and she actually liked the gnome steampunk the most. Awesome. awesome, awesome. Now, just so you know, to claim your prize, all you have to do is send us an email at contact at embroiderylegacy.com, and uh, we'll know it's you, and we will make sure we get that gnome bundle out to you right away. Awesome. Okay, and from Facebook, we are looking at uh, Kimberly uh, Nixon, and Kimberly liked the witch gnome the most. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there, there, and Halloween's right around the corner. Now, I did want to do something else on this live, and if you guys do have any other questions, feel uh, feel free to just, you know, let us know, because Jesse will interrupt me, and we will be happy to answer any questions. Uh, and I will later on let you know about, uh, uh, I guess, our Christmas party because we did mention that we might be doing another Christmas Live where we're going to have a contest, a creative contest. So that is right around the corner. Uh, but I did also want to make everybody aware that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we always try to do something to support that because it's really, I guess, close or dear to our family. Um, my grandmother, Jesse's great grandmother, she actually fought a battle against breast cancer almost 14 years ago and she won. So we are so thankful that she was, I guess, uh, detected very early and she is, I guess, going to be 94 this year. Uh, she is battling cancer again right now. So uh, if, you, if you pray, we would appreciate your prayers, but she's doing well. She's not in pain. And uh, we are just, uh, you know, hoping that yeah, uh, the Lord keeps her here as, as long as she wants to be here, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, it is close to our heart because she did have 14 years with our family, and she is the patriot of our business as well, and she got to meet her great-great-grandchildren. And we have one more on the way in December, So, and her birthday's in December, so it could possibly be a either a Christmas baby or a birthday baby. We'll see, I guess either way it's a birthday, but uh, that'll, be, that'll be fun. But uh, what I wanted to do is I'm going to digitize a design live right now. It won't take me long because I'm going to do it as fast as I possibly can. I told Jesse he had to set his timer on his phone so he could time how long it took for me to do this. Uh, somebody did actually send in a request uh, in one of our groups, I think, asking if I would digitize or release a ribbon, a breast cancer awareness ribbon that was freestanding lace. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to digitize a freestanding lace ribbon, and I have to still run the sample after, the, after this little live, and I'll have to do all the conversions, but by next week, we're going to do another live next week because we have a special announcement. But by next week, we will have that design up in our Facebook groups for you guys to download. So definitely, that'll be, that'll be awesome. And if you can use it to, I guess, cheer somebody up or raise money for you know breast cancer awareness, that that's really our goal. We don't want anything for it other than for you guys to just do good, right? So, yeah. uh, do you have anything you want to say, Jess? Um, I'll camera for one sec. Definitely. So uh, just too quick, uh, I've been off topic, so I've just been uh, typing here. 
bit off topic, but we do have two more gnome suggestions. One is Santa gnome, and the okay. other is a hockey gnome. A hockey gnome. There okay, we that go. That must be the people from uh, from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a question when you're coming back to the states, but uh, that's a little off topic for for right now. So yeah, for, for, for right now, uh, just for that, for as far as coming back to live events, we are holding tight for the rest of this year, and we're seeing how. I guess uh, things uh, evolve for 2022. We we definitely love being with you guys at the live events and the shows. So that is uh, hopefully going to happen in the future when things have settled a little bit globally. Yeah. Uh, now, with regards to free staying lace, just so you know, and this is a call out to our good friends at the uh, Classic Sewing Magazine. Uh, every year, and I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but they do have freestanding lace designs that they release every single year at Christmas time and their ornaments. And yours truly actually digitizes those for Classic Sewing Magazine. So the ornaments that I'm going to show you are definitely not uh, available through us. And I have to give you a really quick sneak peek because I don't know if they've been released yet, but there they are. There they're gone. So if you want to get some really cool lace ornaments, you can check out uh, Classic Sewing Magazine. They're good friends of ours, and we actually advertise with them all the time. So we like to support the businesses that support us. Mm -hmm. uh, now, with regards to digitizing the design, I did actually draw this artwork all by myself. And if you've ever been to one of our live events, I've always said that I am not an artist. And this is the proof. So here is my artwork done on a piece of tracing paper with a pencil. So, I mean, it doesn't get, you know, much, I guess, harder or easier. Depends on how you want to look at it. But that's what I did. I just drew a very simple ribbon and I took a picture of it with my phone and then I brought it into my software. Now, I am going to be using Hatch software for this demo, just so you guys know. Uh, and it's the software I've kind of been using in the Wilcom family for 37 years. So I'm pretty familiar with it. Now I just have to stop sharing that one and open up a new window. Any other questions, Jess, while I'm finding where my software is? Uh, no questions right now, but if everyone is, uh, excited for this new free freestanding lace ornament, please be sure to let us know in the comments. Uh, that way we know to do more of them in the future. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So there I have my software up right now and I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see the software as big as possible. So, oh, and, and one, yeah. small, uh, one more thing. We do have a few breast cancer survivors in the comments. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. So awesome. we're, we're happy to have you all here. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I have to go back over to my software here. And it, Jesse, if you can let me know as long as I'm streaming while I'm digitizing here and you have to start the timer. Okay, because I said I was going to do this as quickly as possible. So I want to actually see how quick I can do this. And I don't have a pink color up here, but I'll change it to pink later on. I'm going to digitize it in red right now. Actually, I'll do it in purple. Okay, so say when. I actually already started. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. That would be something my son would do. Uh, okay. All right, so. We on can on your mark get set go okay so freestanding lace i'm going to choose a digitized closed shape i'm going to use a tatami stitch and i'm just going to start right up here on my design oops and i'm already messing up but i'm going to go around here and just outline this basic shape and do a straight point continue to come in and do curve straight 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 Come around the other side and now i can curve around the other side and i'm going to get right close to where i would finish off and i'm going to hit the enter and then i'm going to turn the true view off and i'm going to tell it to digitize uh, a hole so i want to basically digitize a hole in that area now i'm going to digitize the center piece so i'm just going to do my pieces here come over here all the way around to the center of the design and then I'm going to hit the enter button twice, and now I have a hole. So now I have a ribbon, and I'm going to take that ribbon, and I'm going to go into the settings, and I'm going to set the settings in millimeters to, and this is about a 5-inch ribbon right now. Let's change it to 2.5 um, uh, millimeters. Hit the enter, and then I'm going to go in and turn off all the underlay. So I have no underlay on there. Then I'm going to grab that ribbon, and I'm going to duplicate it once, twice, 
three times and one more. So I have four times the ribbon is duplicated. Then I'm going to grab the first one and I'm just going to hit the H key and I'm going to change the angle to zero degrees. Then I'm going to grab the second one, hit the H key, change the angle to, let's say, 90 degrees. And then I'm going to grab the next one, hit the H key, and let's do this one at, let's say, 45 degrees. And then we'll grab the last one, hit the H key, and we'll do this one at 135 degrees. So there is my freestanding lace portion of the design. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue digitizing. I'm going to do a digitize open shape this time. I'm going to use the satin width. I'm going to do it 2.5 millimeters. And I'm going to start, let's see here. I have to make up my mind where I'm going to start. Let's start right over here. And I'm going to put a point here, 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 and here. Hit enter. Then I'm going to come here, 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 all the way up. Hit enter. Then I'm going to switch to a run stitch with a uh, single run, and I'm going to come up to the center, let's say right to here, hit enter. I'm going to zoom into a three to one scale really quick. Actually, let's go into a six to one scale just so I can make sure that I get the little tab at the top done properly. Let's digitize a circle with a satin stitch, the same two and a half millimeters. And I'm going to put my little tab right up on here and make sure that I cross over just like that. So there is my tab, and then I'm going to go back to a run stitch and single run, and I'm going to go all the way down around the rest of the design and finish this little piece right down here and hit enter, come down. So I traveled through that object. Now I'm going to change to a satin stitch, put a point here and here and here and right here and hit enter. And then I'm going to go back to a run stitch and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to come back up to the top because I do have one single object to finish, but this object kind of does something different right here. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go back to a satin and I'm going to do a little piece right here. And some of you might be wondering, why is he doing that little piece? You'll see why in one second, because now I'm going to finish this entire object but I'm going to finish it from this point right here. I know it's going to connect because Hatch is intelligent and it actually knows if a object touches another object, it will automatically join the objects and not give you any unnecessary trims. And I did that little piece there because I didn't want that stitch to go over top of the satin stitch. I wanted this ribbon to look like it flowed perfectly and was under where it was supposed to be under and on top where it was supposed to be on top. So now I just continue right around here and this is where I get back to where I began and I will finish right on this point here and enter. Now all I have to do is grab all of those satin stitches. This one here, here, I'm going to go down here, I'm going to go here. Oops, darn, I just messed up my time, Jesse. Okay. <laughs> And uh, here, I, I killed at least 20 seconds there, unfortunately. Now I'm going to take those, I'm going to go to my underlay, and I'm going to do a double zigzag with a edge run for all of those objects. So there's my edge run. And let's go. Now here, if I look at this, there is my freestanding lace ribbon, and I have everything done so it's all packed perfectly underneath. Nothing looks like it's overlapping on top. What was my time? Come on, come on, Jesse. Just building the suspense. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we had about five minutes and five seconds. Okay, what so I had. five minutes and five seconds. I think that we could take off at least like six seconds. So I was at <laughs> like 459 from all of that, you know, stuff you did over there, right? Yeah. So, okay. So anyways, that is a freestanding design. We will embroider that on a water-soluble stabilizer. All of those four fills that are kind of latticing over top of each other in four different directions are going to give a foundation. And then the satin stitches that are going over top have the double zigzag with the edge run. So you're building up some loft on those satin stitches. And this will actually embroider perfectly. I've been doing this for 38 years now, so I can tell by looking at it, it's going to sew out just fine. And if you want to, you could put some text within the 
ribbon part of it, the free sanding lace, and it will actually sew on that and you'll still be able to see through it. So if, it, if you guys kind of like that little exercise, maybe I'll do more live digitizing in the future. It might actually be kind of a fun thing to, uh, to do in the future. But uh, if you like that, give us some hearts, thumbs up, leave some comments in YouTube, and uh, we will try to get more maybe digitizing. Maybe I should do little challenges where I give myself half an hour, do a design and see what I can come up with in half an hour. Just be creative. That, yeah. that sounds like it might be fun to like doodle a little bit maybe. Yeah. If everyone yeah. likes that idea, uh, cool. please comment in yeah, the comments comment, below. We'd like, like to hear that. That would be, that would be kind of fun. So anyways, that, that is a live digitizing demo. And if you do want that lace design, that lace ribbon, as we mentioned, give me a few days. It will be on our Facebook groups. Uh, both of our groups will post it there in our Hatch Facts group and our, I guess, uh, embroidery and digitizing made easy. What's it called machine embroidery and digitizing made easy group. That's it, yeah. And I'm sure the boys will have the links up there for you. If you haven't joined already, you can join. And we will have those designs there in all of the flavors or formats that you can run on all of your machines. So that is going to be kind of cool. Now, a couple more things to share. This is a really quick Facebook Live this time. Uh, I should have dragged that out, shouldn't I? I should have like made it a 15-minute digitizing thing. I probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go back to the screen here. Okay. Okay, so we already won. Just so you guys know, if you uh, are interested, Halloween's still coming up. We still have our 51% off on our, of our Halloween designs uh, right now. So if you are interested in that, uh, check out our site. They're all like $1.95 or something, right, Jess? Uh, so, yes, $1.95. Yeah, so $1.95 for all of our Halloween designs. If you haven't seen our Embroidery Legacy Design Club, it is definitely the... I guess uh, most, uh, how, how can I say it, the value saved, you will get incredible designs at literally, uh, you know, 25 to 50 cents per design if you calculate it out, because you get a certain amount of downloads every single month. And our Embroidery Attic subscription is literally 50 downloads every single month. And we do have some changes coming up in our club as well, coming soon. Very, very exciting changes. Yeah, yeah. the Design Club is actually uh, up to 90% off, which 90 is just off. unbelievable. So it's 90% off of, of our designs. And there are some exciting changes that Jesse's been working on for quite some time. So I might have to get him back for the live when we announce that, because I think you should announce it. Yeah, it's going to get even better. Yeah. So stay tuned. We, we got lots going on behind the scenes, and a lot of it is actually based off your feedback. So we love to hear suggestions, ideas, uh, anything to make it more user-friendly and better for you. For sure, for sure. And we, we are trying our best. I know a couple days ago the site went down just for a moment, and that's because we are making all these changes behind the scenes. So be patient with us. We're trying to make it faster and better for our customers. That is our ultimate goal. Uh, if you like what you saw with me digitizing that little design, you can download the free 30-day uh, trial of Hatch. We are an official Hatch reseller. And we do have something called our digitizing challenge, which is free as well, because uh, if somebody downloads a trial version of software, that can be confusing and intimidating. So we have free lessons that gets you playing with the software right away because any software program is as good as the support and education that comes with it. So that's something else that we uh, try to do. And again, please uh, you know, visit our Facebook groups, uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel. All of that really helps us to you know, continue to grow and to help our customers as well. Suggestions on videos are very helpful because I, I do see all those that come in. And that's exactly why I did this ribbon and planned it for now, obviously October, and it's still, I guess, you know, halfway through, but I planned it because somebody had a suggestion and wanted to see how to do a freestanding lace ribbon. And there you go. Now it's done. Awesome. So, Mr. Deer, any other comments? Anything else we need to? Oh, I forgot one thing. Okay. You, if you have any other comments, let, you, know, you can say it now, Jess. Okay. Uh, I don't see. Oh, uh, we have people asking if the Halloween designs fit in a four by four hoop. Uh, I'll answer that real quick as, sure. uh, as he is searching. 
So our designs vary in size. Some of them, uh, a lot of them actually will, yes, fit within a four by four hoop. Uh, some of them, of course, are bigger. So if you do click on a specific design that you like, you'll be able to kind of pull uh, more of the design details and there you'll find the sizes. Yeah. And also keep in mind that uh, besides all of the regular machine file formats, like, you know, PES and VIP and, you know, uh, there's all of those out there. We do also include the native EMB files for the majority of our designs, ones that have been digitized in the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you do have Hatch, which is an EMB format, you can resize those designs much better than any other machine format. So if we have a design that's five inches on our website and you have Hatch and we give you the EMB file, odds are you'll be able to reduce it to four and still be okay because yeah. it's speaking the same language right now the other thing that i wanted to i guess kind of uh, let you know is join us next week we're going to try to go live again at the same time i haven't verified with us any with anybody yet so we'll make <laughs> sure it happens uh or soon but we're going to announce our christmas live and we're going to be doing another contest the same type of idea that we did at halloween because that was great fun and we just love seeing all of your creativity uh, if you haven't seen that catch the replay because i was humbled beyond recognition uh <laughs> linda basically <laughs> i did a challenge i challenged linda i don't know if i'm going to challenge linda again i think you should you know should? you need some competition oh, for sure man okay well she you mean she needs some competition maybe i should get somebody else yeah okay. maybe anyways linda, linda <laughs> just dragged me through the mud on that one and she deserved it she did a great job so we are going to have another contest and we love to see your creativity at work so thank you for joining us, guys. And unless you have something else, Mr. Jesse Deer, I think we can kind of wrap this up. I think that's about it. One last comment, Denise, uh, just to make John feel good. Uh, she said, I know you're good, but that was way too fast. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess slow it down there. Okay. Thank you, you for know, the kidneys, actually, uh, the comment, Denise. Okay. Here's what, I, here's what I will do. And I'll do this maybe tomorrow because it's I can knock that out really quickly. I know I did that really, really fast. Uh, maybe I'll shoot a, a separate video of just doing that technique that I just did. But I will slow it down so people who do have Hatch can follow along. Right? Sure. Yeah, so that that's great. something that I'll, I'll do. And that will be a, a YouTube video that will go up probably in a, about a week's time. And of course, if everyone does want to see that, just to leave a comment. So we know that uh, once again, we just want to make sure we're on the right track. Yep. Yep. So if you'd like to see me do that slower so that you can follow along, just leave us a comment uh, either on Facebook and YouTube and that will that'll help us out. Cool. Getting lots of yes, pleases. So, okay. Uh, so I guess, I guess I have something to do tomorrow now. I was going to relax all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the case. We, we are busy, busy, busy here, but we like to be busy. So absolutely awesome. Well, thank you very much, guys. I wish you guys a uh, healthy and safe weekend and uh, we will see you God willing next week. Awesome. awesome. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us guys. Take care.